All right. Thank you for coming back together. Pardon my little pause there, just trying to make sure everything's calibrated. So, um, great discussions going on. Who would like to share uh, if number one was or was not an essential question and what was your evidence for that stance? Sure, great, thanks. Um, we said that it was not. Okay. 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 All right. Great. So basic recall, and that speaks right to what we were talking about, common core, rigor, and uh, going in depth. Great. All right. How about um, questions? And other thoughts about number one? Okay. How about number two? We thought it was. Okay. Essential question. All right. All right. Connections are made. Right. Okay. And and look at um, I mean look at number one and number two. And and trust me, I'm telling you, it's not easy to do that. But you can just get a vibe, right? You can get the vibe between the two of how they're written and how the you go. Oh, okay, I see what it's getting at. The problem is, is that's hard to replicate because I've been there and tried. But it's when you read it, it's like wow, that's that's a great that's a great question. Okay. How about number three? So you said it was? All right. That's another vibe of the. <laughs> yeah, all right. Okay, so what I'll say there is, it already has achieved its success in, in, with you as a, your group, as if you were a student per se, because you already have taken that question as it is, and you've started building prior knowledge around it that's already taking you to certain places. So absolutely, even in your response, I think it shows that the essential question components are there. Question is, I can just see a student saying yes or no. Sure. Right, and um, part of that is a consideration is the yes or no piece, but um, also the size and scope that we talked about. So the size and scope would be where you would live to make the adjustments to make sure that that question does go deeper, but there's a setup to it as well. But yes, good point. But the size and scope in taking those. So are there topical questions? If, and I, I, I'll jump to it real quick, sorry. But here, if that's your overarching then what are the topical that may support leading them to that? Or you may decide to tweak the question itself to make it give a little bit more, sure. But if, if, if that question works to keep it broad enough for what you need to do, then maybe there's some topical questions that could help lead to that bigger overarching question, if you will. Good point. Okay, onomatopoeia. What's up with that? Great. Okay. Uh, good. Uh, good evidence that you brought into that. Other thoughts? Good. All right. Question five. What are examples of animals adapting to their environment? No. Okay. Because that's asking for very specific uh, responses. Okay. Okay, so you're seeing that that could be written in a more broad sense, more open-ended piece, okay? And number six, what are the limits of arithmetic? Bam. Okay. Sorry? Bam. Oh, there you go, that's huge. Great. Yeah. Okay. Big one. Great. And I don't know how many of you, thank you for <laughs> sharing, and I don't know how many of you...
If you had a chance, you could have used the cheat sheet, uh, which is also in the book, but I did incorporate that. So if you didn't see that, they did give you, and, I, and notice I didn't focus on yes or no and confirming or denying that with you, but was more into the thinking and conversation around it. But they give you, if you're a black and white, you want the black and white of it, there is, according to the book, and then their evidence that they provided. So now that we've kind of done that exercise, there's something that you can kind of size it up to. Uh, I don't know the page in the book, but I know it's in the book. 15. 15. Thank you. Lisa. Uh -huh. Aha. <laughs> Absolutely. Okay. Okay, so I, I did go through these slides, so I'm going to come back to this particular slide. Which number? Uh, the bottom of page five. Yeah, I don't have a number. Yeah. So the bottom of page five. And on, on this, this was just another way that I found uh, that was a great visual representation of some of the thinking that we've done. Okay, so I just want to give you a second. I don't know that there's anything specifically that jumped out at me except that there is some connections that can be made uh, uh, to this piece. But just take a minute, turn to a partner, and just dive into what you see again. What do you see that's reinforced? Or what do you see that's maybe some new additions or a different way that you didn't think of, of kind of the information I've already presented? We'll just make it quick. And then we're going to kind of transition then into um, uh, kind of a, a bigger piece around the essential questions. This is more of the what is involved, and we're going to move to that next level. So just take a quick minute, analyze this little chart, and uh, we'll come back together in one minute. Go ahead. 